I make my triumphant return to 101 things to do in Minecraft. There's so much left to do, so let's get into exploring, building, and crafting. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a fantastic day. So you can still partially see the sun, but it's a lot uh, better off than it was before. I'm going to actually put on the lights a little bit here. Yeah, there. Uh, no, we'll go with uh, that one. Yeah, just a little bit of light. Just a, just a little, little itty bitty bit. So I have a bunch of materials here. And what I decided to do was use a bunch of different materials that I think would look good for not only the structural part of it, but also the, um, like the bottom floor. So like if I use a combination of the black stone, crying obsidian, and the basalt all in, in tandem together, it could look really cool. And I'm going to use the scaffolding here, as I told you before. I have this on me. That's good. Um, that's pretty much all I would need. Maybe the iron bars, because I, I kind of want to do, like, a, a stylistically different thing with it, if I can. So let's say I go through... Okay, sure. Uh, let's say I go through here and make this happen. Uh, also, what I realized is th the other blue uh, fungus did grow. It grew right over beyond the bamboo here. I just needed to give it more pieces of bone meal. Um, apparently it only takes one, but that one took a couple and then it worked totally fine. So I don't know, but whatever. It's all good. It's all chilling out right by there and it's all fine by me. So what I need to also do in a hot second here is, uh, craft a bunch of, uh, torches using the soul sand, which did I put that away? I absolutely did. Awesome. So I'm going to have to grab that afterward. But what I want to happen is kind of like what I did over toward the jungle tree, with the scaffolding so let's say the entrance to the building is right here right so let's say it starts like right over toward this way three three wide right there right so now like it would go kind of like this and then the scaffolding would be right over toward here so that way i can go up and down without enemies uh, potentially doing that as well so let me get rid of this one there we go okay and then, boom, just like that. Wait, hold on. I got to actually go down there. And then, there we go. So now I can climb all the way back up, and it's totally no problem whatsoever. So now, when I'm looking, and, and like, this is going to be the actual side of the building toward this way, right over toward here. So, like, when I look into this section to make sure no enemies are here, I could use the iron bars right over here to secure myself... And any other enemies that may launch projectiles at me, I launch all the way down and hop right in. Boom, right? So that's kind of the idea that I had in mind, and it looks like I am going to be able to do that relatively well. I may end up changing this to be stairs, if possible, you know, like just to make it a bit more architecturally, you know, pleasing, I guess. Now, something I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need glowstone, actually. Glowstone would look really cool inside of here as well. So I'm going to dig out everything under here. And for the scaffolding section over here, digging this out is going to be a bit more of a pain because all the scaffolding is resting on the very bottom block right there. So if I remove that block, then technically all the scaffolding will fall. But if I place a block immediately after mining it, then that won't happen. So I'm going to do that just after I uh, clear all this out right here. I don't technically need to use any... Uh, shovel here. I think that's going to be fine. And then I'm going to place the crying obsidian sparingly. You know, just to give it a little bit of accent, a little bit of details around here. But the main portion of the floor is going to be the blackstone for now. And like, yeah, whatever other materials I decide to do, I'm going to swap out uh, just little sections as I go. And I should have enough blackstone here to fill all this in. Yeah, that's no problem at all. Get rid of this. And then bam. All the way through here. And look at this. It's already coming together. Loving it when a plan comes together. All right. So this I'm going to move. And then yoink. There we go. Yoink. Actually, no. Would it work? Yeah, it does. Okay, cool. It's because it's attached to this uh, scaffolding here. So you can see the bottom portion here. It's technically latching onto this. So I guess that's why it works. If I removed all three, all three would fall. So that's kind of the idea that I, I guess I had in mind, but I misunderstood. So now, Crying Obsidian is going to go, like, right here. And that does emit a little bit of light. And the Nether Portal will as well. So I'll do that there. I'll do one, let's say, like, right here. Yeah, there we go. 
nope, that's not what I wanted. But I should have known better. I should have sunk down by one. Whoops. Give it a little bit of uh, light in here. Okay. Bam. There's one. Okay. I'm going to put like one more kind of like right here. Yeah, that's going to look good. Bam. All right. So now nah, that corner needs one too. Right here. Yeah, there we go. So just enough on the bottom here to give it a little bit of uh, light energy here. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to make the sides, but for now, I guess that's fine. And just to test out my idea here, if I enter through here, right, just like I normally would, I'm going to face the way that I would as if I were going in the nether, and then bam, it is the exact air. I'm one lower. What? Oh, I fell into the area. That's why. Uh, please don't hurt me. Please. There we go. Awesome. Uh, don't want to get uh, that happening again. So, okay. Now when I head back in through this way, that uh, skeleton better not hurt me. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. And we're good. Awesome. Ooh, it did get me. Oh, it did get me. Ah, mamma mia. All right. Nice. Awesome. See, this is what I'm talking about. So, like, because I have this in here, he won't be able to get me if I'm up toward this way. As far as I know, he won't be able to climb. All right. So, unless there's some mechanic I'm not aware of, that thing should not be able to climb. All right? So, for now, I'm going to grab this, and I'm going to fill in uh, this dirt over here. Now, wait. Okay. Yeah. This is technically still going to be grass over on the outside here. Uh, okay. So, this portion is going to go over toward this way. It's going to be this wide. And then I'm basically going to, I might fast forward or skip ahead rather through this section because this is going to be uh, a bit more to, you know, do, actually, no, that's, that's that. So like when I build like this, thinking a bit more clearly helps instead of constantly talking through as I have said a couple of times before. So let me get rid of these and I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to work on this a little bit. You know, I'm going to tear out the entire bottom portion and make it look a bit more presentable. But for the moment, I like what I have so far. So let me get rid of this and this. So this is the base of the structure right here. So now when I look inside of here, it's going to be a whole big thing, right? Surrounded by a bunch of these fun guys. It's going to be really, really good as far as I can tell. And I still need that soul stone. So let me go finish what I have in mind here. Swap out the very bottom and make some progress. All right, this is what I got so far. So it's like the idea that I had before, you know, cleaned up a lot and I like the way it looks, but obviously I want to make some tweaks. So now's the portion where I'm going to go into creative mode and, and get the juices flowing, okay? So the glowstone that I have, I'm going to use that. And an idea that I came up with or like a, a specific way of like uh, making lanterns be a bit more natural, I guess was uh, doing this sort of method over here. So if I go into here, right, and I place a glowstone block, like, right there, and then if I happen to place an iron bar right here, it makes it look illuminated, but it doesn't necessarily show the glowstone in its most, um, you know, like, right up against the wall. So it makes it have a bit more depth, and it showcases that it's, like, a, a dungeon kind of area. So it still illuminates the light, it makes it look pretty cool regardless. So it's one, two, three, four. Then there, right? It's it's technically two. It is technically uh, one, two, three back. Okay, so one, two, three. Yep, that's exactly it right there. Do this. Yep. And then one, two, one, two. Yep. And there we go. All right, cool. So that little section looks like that. Um, I really like what I did with the accent parts uh, down toward this way. It makes it be a little bit more lively. And if I can find more types of nether blocks to add down here that make sense for the biomes and whatnot that are corresponding to it, then I'll do that. Uh, what I'm also going to do real quick is I am going to do that thing with the stairs that I talked about before. I'm going to change um, the nether brick stairs. There's red nether brick stairs. That's kind of weird. Uh, but I'm going to change these into stairs here because it just makes it seem a bit more um, fashionable, I guess. Uh, so yeah, like that, see, it just makes it look a bit more, you know, like a podium, like a terrace, I guess, sort of a deal. I'll get rid of this for now, that for now, boom. Okay, so like, yep, it works totally functionally as I thought it would, uh, right over toward this way, bam, there you go. So I don't like that section being there. Um, let me go, 
over to the house, and I'm going to show you exactly how to craft the soul sand, um, the blue flames, as I had done previously. So let me go into survival, just so you know I'm not uh, cheating or anything like that. I still have the same sorts of materials and whatnot. But let's say I go into here, where the other nether stuff is. Um, nope, I lied. It is up toward here, actually. The soul soil is what I was uh, working with there. And I believe I need uh, coal, and I should be able to make it right from here, right? Uh, let's see. I can make it... Uh, no. What if I do that? That doesn't do anything? Okay, no. How do I make this? It requires coal, a stick, and soul soil. So I need to have the entirety of the thing assembled and ready to go uh, in a standard crafting table. So... I'm going to grab a few of these here. Bam. I already had the call. I don't know what I was thinking there. So the soil soil is right here. There's this. And does that not work? Yeah, it does. Okay, cool. The soil torch right there. So now the difference with this, as you can probably assume, is it's blue. Ooh. It still illuminates a light. It doesn't look like it illuminates the same amount of light, which I'm not going to be able to really tell. Yeah, I can kind of tell. Yeah, not as much light. It's a little more dim, but it still looks really cool. The other thing I wanted to craft, other than the torch, was the campfire, which I cannot do until I have the oak logs, or logs of some kind. So, I don't have any. Cool. What about over here? None. Awesome. So, I gotta go chop down some trees like a savage, okay? Over toward this way. Like, I never have had any sort of, uh, you know, ones of these planks before. And I will cut down the remainder of this tree at another time. But, yes, I wanted to make actually two of them. So give me a second here. I need to grab uh, two worth of, or rather six of these uh, logs. Because those, I think, are going to be um, in the very front. Or they're going to be scattered uh, near the nether area. So I want it to be like a livable area as well for anyone, you know, who is in the town who wanted to, like, explore what the nether feels like if they don't, like, have an opportunity to check it out for themselves. So, like, it'd be, like, this interactive type area, I guess, where, uh, you know, villagers can exist and whatnot. That I'm going to toss out because I don't actually uh, have it. I was from creative mode there, so let me get rid of uh, all this stuff here. I don't think I need this for right now. Stone swords I certainly do not need, uh, and I need... Spruce logs. Oh, the the sticks. Yes, the sticks. How could I ever forget the sticks? All right, there's this one, two. All right, and I can make two of these. Bam, there we go. So, this campfire looks really cool. It's got a lot going on with it other than, you know, well, it's actually, it's just the same exact thing. It's just a different color. So, um, and it emits less, less light. And I, I think I saw at some point somewhere... That they're going to have a future update where you can, like, uh, cook things over the fire. Or if you can do that now, I'm not quite sure. But that would be pretty cool. So I'll show you what these look like right here. Uh, it's either going to go... It, it's probably going to go right over here. Like, one little area, like, bam. Lit up like that. So it's going to look, look a lot more impressive at nighttime. But uh, what I'm going to do is deck out this whole thing here. And, uh, like, I'm just going to, like, let the creative juices flow with um, this whole section here, and I'm gonna like close it off. So you'll see what I mean, just give me a second. Okay, so now it's basically a cube, which is not all that interesting, but what I'm gonna do is use nether brick fence, and you can see like the actual light levels right now. So this is what it looks like, you know, without any additional light other than the outside light right here. So the vibe is going to be like so, one, two, three. All right, one, nope. I don't want it to be that low, actually. So one, two. So basically like kind of like a skylight sort of a deal. So if I go over toward here, one, two, one, two. Okay, so that's a little bit of light right there. Um, I could do another one of these right over here. One, two, okay. So if you're down below, you can see the light from the outside there, but not all that well. And that's kind of what I want to go for. So let's say I want to go for some soul sand, right? I believe if I light this up here, it should illuminate blue. Let's see if that is the case here. It is indeed. All right. So that will be lit up no matter what. Okay. So I hate how that looks, 
So what I'm going to do is use the fences to kind of make a sconce right here. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. All right, and that looks not bad, but I feel like a slab would do a little bit better there. So let's say I grab a slab and then boom. Okay, so that looks like a, yeah, like a sconce, okay? You know your uh, fancy top one-tenth of one percent when you can see a sconce somewhere? So yeah, if you're overlooking from this section right here, you can see that, and yeah, that looks really evil in a cool way, all right? So let's do that. I'm gonna pop that, bam, right over there. Those are even, excellent, one, two, and then bam. All right, so I could add that right over here as well. I'm, ah, uh, should I? Uh... Now nah, that's gonna interfere with with that stuff. I feel like uh, let me see there's one two No, not really. All right. I, I'm gonna add it for now I don't know if I'm in love with it, but I guess it'll just stick for now I guess one two and then bam bam. So now that is very lit up, right? Okay, so you don't even see it from this angle here. So if I go over here You see that it's fine Um, What else can I add over here like anything is there anything else? Like, I could add some magma blocks if I wanted to. Um, I feel like that might be a bit much. Let me see. Can I slide in here? No, it's just iron bars. Um, okay, what if I do this, this, bam, bam. Okay, cool. Like, I, I want to add glowstone in somewhere. What about, like, right here? Because glowstone is a key part of the nether, right? That looks fine. Um, I don't mind how this looks at all. It it's a pretty, like standard entrance so like if i want to go down right into here and then hop right up boom i'm good right uh, i am going to use these right here just so i have a, a a means to walk up there you know we'll do this yeah that kind of works like that right bam there we go so you can still see the illumination from the glowstone it's just not uh pre you can't see it see it so uh, actually i don't know if i like that so let me swap these two around uh that and then that yeah, that might work a little bit better. Plug that in there. Might as well. Uh, plug that in. Then, bam. All right. That doesn't look awful. You know, I don't I don't mind that at all. Uh, for that portion up there, does that look awful? Kind of low-key? I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't like that. No! Dang it. All right. That. Bam. Okay. Going to leave that as it is right there. Give me another brick. All right. Cool. So, it's basically basically a box as it normally is in all of my Minecraft things ever. Which I'm not very proud of, but, you know, it is what it is at this rate. So there's this. Uh, I want to go with, like, something interesting but simple up toward this way. And I do want to have it illuminated because uh, from the outside, this is going to be very dark as far as I can tell. So let's say I have this right here. And I, I don't need, like, something to be able to get up here. Like, I don't need people to be up here or anything. So let's go with... Is that dead center? Uh, that's kind of kind of dead center. Uh, one, two. Yeah, that is centered. No, it's not. It's technically six. Technically six. Okay, well, these two are centered right here. This is the absolute center. So one, two, right there. All right. So let's say I go with, um, you know what? I want fence. No, I want stairs somewhere up here. Stairs. Bam. All right. What if I did this instead? Yeah, I kind of like that better. Add a bit more, just like accent points right over here, I suppose. Yeah, we'll do this and surround it all toward this way. So that way it's illuminated on the top here. I don't necessarily need to do the campfire, but just something, you know? And I feel like there's like some sort of front facade accent detailing missing. Kind of looks like a creeper, not going to lie to you. Actually, no, why would, ooh, you know what? Actually, that's a better idea. What if I did this instead? Nope. What if I did this and then this? So that way when you see it from the, nope. When you see it from the outside, if I can nail, nope, nope. Ugh. If I can nail the idea here, bam. So when you see it, you're like, ooh, it's blue, it's glowing, it's evil. Ooh, spooky, you know? That's a pretty terrifying thing there. Uh, why don't I do this up here? Get rid of those, one, two, two. Um, I don't hate it, right? I don't, I don't like despise it. I mean, it's not, it's not flawless, but like, it's not horrific, you know? I feel like there's something I could do with these blocks around here, right? So if I have the crimson stem, hi, polar bear, long time no see, uh, and warp stem all around here, I feel like there's like an alternating 
pattern I could do, right? Let's say I did this, right? Point that down toward that way. This one goes toward this way. What if I did like a alt, like, uh, there's some, there's some potential in here. I can feel it in my bones, right? There's that. I'm just going to plug that up, whatever. There, there's something here, right? I'm going to mess around with this maybe off camera, but I feel like there's, there's a pattern I can pull off here to make it just a bit more interesting. But as this stands right now, I don't, I don't hate it, but I don't love it, you know? I think I'm going to have to see what it looks like, you know, once it's actually dark outside. Uh, one thing I'm going to do, I'm going to switch back into survival now. Um, one thing I do want to do, uh, I don't have any of the mushrooms on me. Great. So I want to try planting more of these around here and seeing what happens. But in terms of it as it is right now, I think it's fine. So let me go light up the portal into here. And boom, there you go. So pretty cool, right? Not, not bad, not too shabby, not too shabby. I'm gonna leave this as it is and I'm gonna mess around with it off camera to see if there's anything I can do that might be cool. Like around the side, it's gonna be a lot of like just thinking, you know, in a good way. And I also want to set up some chairs out here and just make it look like a, a chill hangout area for the nether. Maybe add another tree over here or fungus thing like right here. That would be cool, but not necessarily uh, needed. But like having all these trees here looks really cool. You know what I'm going to do real quick? I'm going to grab uh, the other mushrooms, try to grow them, and I want to show you what it looks like at nighttime before I get out of here. What's really cool about these, uh, these new, you know, fungus here is that there's lights inside of them. Uh, without me needing to add them, so that's pretty cool. I can, like, change it up and whatnot. Uh, this I do need, because I need to harvest you. Otherwise, I can't actually pull that off. So I'm going to put that one there, that one there, yep. And then, boom. All right, cool. That worked out flawlessly. I'm going to get rid of this real quick. Uh, what's going to work here? Technically, the sword is the fastest. Okay, sure. That's fine. Uh, yeah, sword is definitely fastest. So there's that. Uh, that looks pretty cool, right? Not uh, not bad at all. I don't know if I want to add some over here. I, I kind of feel like I don't. I want to keep it like a contained area as much as I can. Is this going to work? Yeah, it literally worked after one. All right, cool. So it's very like, oh, uh, I don't know if I want to do this right now. Uh, like it, it just doesn't decide on what it wants to do, you know, whenever. So I have two and two over here. Um, I don't mind snow existing everywhere else except the one area where there's like tons of fire and evil everywhere. So... I'm going to leave this right here for now. Get rid of the snow. I'll clean it up eventually. But it looks very lit up at night. Let me get rid of this. If anything, there should be blue torches over toward this way. So let me grab... Do I? Did I lose the blue torches? I, I got rid of them for whatever reason. Okay, sure. But there's going to be blue torches probably, you know, here, there. Yeah. Um, I'm going to mess around with this pattern off camera, but it looks very cool. Let me show you the above angle in creative. It, yeah, it, it's totally lit up, and it looks like a really interactive nether area. I like it a lot. So there's room for improvement, but it's not awful. I want to thank you guys and girls for listening, watching, tuning in, and meowing it out with me as always. My name has been Brian Saviano, Bricks O'Brien. I'm going to make some pattern here, accent more of this, and just make it look better. Hopefully it comes out well. I'm pretty sure it will, because I'm pretty good at this stuff when I can think without needing to talk constantly. So I'll talk to you in the next episode of 101 Things to Do in Minecraft. And until then, keep being yourself and hang in there, all right? Bye.